Hello and welcome, Peter here, Piotr Fistner. How are you doing, guys? So, we got a big, big, big inverter, which, for those who don't know, these are a lie. This is a lie. And why it is a lie? You see here, it's written 3000 watts. Okay? But, as well, it's a 12 volt. You see how thick those wires are? it's impossible to move the current or it's written 12 volt here it's written 12 12 volts and 3000 watts peak time okay rated power rated so let me open bard i had this conversation before with this customer so i can find mm, Capacitors have capacitors, that is the cheapest option. How much point can you create? Small thing. Okay, so I don't see it here. I've got quite a few conversations with it. Uh, okay, I'll pause and I'll find it. Okay, so I have it. Let's switch to the uh, conversation. As you see, the conversations are quite broad. So, yay. Yes. When inverter has 3000 watts and 12 volts on the input, what size of the copper wire? I need to transfer such power via those 12 volts. Yes. So it calculated in AWGs, which I wasn't happy, you know, about because that's not something I know from top of my head what it is. So I said, how many millimeter square cable do I need? And look, 71.68 millimeter of of uh, the cable we would need yes so as you see these manufacturers are lying because you can't transfer from 12 volt to 3000 watts that easily uh, without proper thickness of the wire so for me it's a lie yes i don't know how you understand it can you transfer so much and then sometimes i'm checking the mosfets and the mosfets can't carry 3000 watts in total yes because if you sum up how many amps and how many volts is going through them you don't see them doing that thing this is a faulty inverter um so i need to diagnose it that's why i said i will you know i will show you inside and outside and i will show you what i've asked bard uh, to understand why you can't trust what's written on the device yes uh, because if it's rated power it doesn't mean anything so don't buy yes don't buy those inverters in a hope of having so much current plus it's a switching type of power inverter yes you got those mosfets here 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 and here and please notice that here those wires are not that thick so even if they would carry 200 something volts that would be okay but here again you see that's one part yes that's how much cable is it's not 70 odd millimeters and the second one as well is here so that's the red that's for the yeah that's for the uh, how you call it also oh, even all of it yes even all of it but it goes to here and then if you won't connect even thick wire enough you won't transfer even half a kilowatt so keep it in mind please notice when you get a car and you've got 12 volt volt battery how thick that cable is yes and that only is a power of one battery yes which takes the power from the battery and they put in taking out when it's starting your car and putting in when it want to store it for later yes so guys you see that having 3000 watt inverter or even 1000 watt inverter it's not only about the inverter it's about cables as well yes hopefully you've got a lesson out of it that's all i wanted to show in this video i will diagnose it like i showed you the um how we call it the subwoofer yes i showed you what was faulty that was only this capacitor blown that's it 
customer just pick it up today and I will diagnose this one I will show you how I found it as well if I will find the issue if no I, we will call it the no fix and I will explain in further videos um, what and why and how and so it's worth watching video after video here because you will have more value this way and you will understand how I'm thinking when I'm fixing stuff rather than just uh, me showing off how I can solder yes because that I don't see a value for you you can grab soldering iron and you can start soldering yourself and if you have issues you can always comment below uh, or you can find forum or find discord or find some places where you can speak to people about soldering or watch other videos where there is plenty explained but that's everything guys so thank you for watching see you in the next video and don't trust those inverters plus mind the cables bye bye